who would you say you're if you had to put the top five goat list in all of UFC like that day, top five from first to star in order, who would you put? So one, one, easy. John Jones. Okay, that's I, I agree with that. Okay. That's Beatrice Johnson. Mm, Mighty Mouse, okay. Four, mm. Three, George St. Pierre. Mm. Four, Anderson Silva. Mm, who's five? Yeah. And five, man, five is tough, man. Five is tough. Uh, Eddie Alvarez. <laughs> oh fuck! The thing is, like, I'm not a really huge fan of him. You know, I no, I I'm like. I'm talking about you. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> Sad. Look at you, got me. Uh, up at five, I'll probably put. Uh, I probably have to go with. Whew, that's a tough one. Um, geez. Everybody says he had Khabib, but I don't. I don't think he did enough, man. I, I was gonna say, think... Khabib, for you, don't got Khabib in your top five. Nah, I, I, I'd put, I, I, uh, nah. Wow. Uh, man, man. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Five he, is like a floater. Undefeated, because he, yeah. I, I, I have Khabib in top five, because he's the only person in, in this sport from that I've seen besides John, John Jones was the most dominant fighter, but Khabib to go twenty nine and zero as a champ. Like, he could have kept fighting more, but he retired for a good reason. But, like, to me, it was like he he, re- he was a wrestler. And that was his right. thing. And, like, no one could stop it. It's like you knew. When I seen the McGregor fight, I wanted McGregor to win. I'm like, oh, he's going to wrestle McGregor. But, like, you knew what he was going to do, but you couldn't stop it at all. It was just like, I don't know, pure domination in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Khabib would have to be, like, he would have to be five then because I have no other person on, on that I can think of that – can solidify that spot. So could be, you know what I mean? Because yeah, George yeah. St. Pierre got to be in there. Anderson Silver, of course, because Anderson Silver, at one time, he was like seven, he was undefeated for like seven years, eight years. Yeah. yeah, it's not even talk about like what happened after when he got older and whatnot and what happened with him with Weidman. This man was setting records already, you know what I mean? He was dominating, you know, at 185 for a very long time. And George St. Pierre literally left, retired, came back, fought Michael Bisping when he became the champion. He fought him at 185, it's not even his weight class. And he took his title and then retired again. That's like <laughs> OG right there. It's like, yeah. And Demetrius, he's just a man. Demetrius is number one to me. I mean, number two, because, uh, you know, because he's still fighting, he's still active. And he's not in the UFC, but he's still the best 125 pounder in the planet. Because mm. he fights, he fights in one, but like he, he's, he's a G man. And and John Jones, he's just number one because he's never lost, and he's <laughs> like killed everybody. And, and the only loss that he has is when he's got uh, when he gets huge. Yeah, he split somebody's face open with a with a twelve to six. <laughs> <laughs> John Jones is a, is a different beast.